Hey, what's going on everybody? Gemini here. Hope everybody's having a great day. I've been away from Forza for quite some time now. I've been really busy in life, but now that I have some spare time and got myself a copy of Forza 5 and also a Xbox One, of course, because you can only play Forza 5 on Xbox One, right? But anyways, uh, I decided to start sharing some uh, tunes with you. So here's the first tune I'm going to be sharing with you. It's on this 2012 Lotus Exige S. Uh, great car, uh, good handling, great grip, uh, plenty of top end. Um, yeah, this is going to be for A-Class 700. And I believe I tuned this at Nürburgring GT circuit. But I'm going to be showing you a hot lap at Mount Panorama, uh, Panorama, excuse me. I recorded a previous hot lap, but I can't find it on my Xbox One, so I don't know where it went. Uh, it was a pretty good time. Um, well, for me, I think it was a pretty good time. It was uh, 2 minutes, 8 seconds, point four six one. So, uh, like I said, I can't find that video, so I had to uh, re-record another hot lap on the same track. The time, it's not as good, but it's just to show you how the car handles, um, uh, what kind of throttle control you might need in and out of the corners. Uh, for the top end, like I said, it's got plenty of top speed. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, here's the hot lap, then I'm gonna come back and uh, show you the build and tune. All right, guys, so uh, let's get started with the build and uh, we're going to start with the conversions. For the engine, we got a stock engine here. For the drivetrain, we left it stock uh, since it's rear wheel drive. And for the aspiration, we're going to add the uh, single turbo. Over to the arrow and appearance, we're going to go with the stock Forza wing or the stock front bumper. Uh, for the rear wing, we're going to upgrade to the race. And the hood, we're going to leave that stock too. Over to the tires and rims. 
We're gonna go with the uh, sport tire compound. We're gonna max out the front tire width, and I believe we're gonna max out the rear as well. Yep. For the rims, I went. Let me see what I used. I used the OZ uh, Super Turismo GTs, but you can choose uh, some other rim that has the same weight. And for the rim size, uh, I left it stock for the front and also stock for the rear. All right, over to the drivetrain. We got a stock clutch. Stock transmission, a street drive line, and a race differential. Over to the platform and handling, we got ourselves some race brakes, race springs and dampers. We got the front and rear anti roll bars, race. Of course, that's the only option. And for the roll cage, we're going to leave that stock and a race weight reduction. And for the engine, we got a stock into, uh, intake, air filter, we got a race fuel system. Stock ignition, race exhaust, stock cams and valves, stock valves, and we got ourselves a race engine block, stock pistons and compression. And for the turbo, we're going to upgrade that to race turbo and for the intercooler I really never upgrade on these it adds weight uh, I don't like to add weight I like to take uh, as much off as I can and a stock flywheel all right so uh, let's go over to the tune so we got 27 for the front and 26.5 for the rear tire pressure on the gears we got no adjustments since we have no transmission but you guys can follow these. Uh, we got negative uh, 2.7 for the front camber, negative 2.1 for the rear, neutral toe at the front, negative 0.4 for the rear toe, and a caster angle of 4.6. For the front anti-roll bars, we got 16, 62, and 24.40 for the rear. For the front springs, we got 468.5 and 555.5 for the rear. Uh, with a ride height of 5.8 for the front and rear. Over to the damping, we got 8.6 and 9.2. 8.6 for the front, 9.2 for the rear. With a bump stiffness of 3.4 and 4.0 for the rear. And the arrow, we got no arrow in the front, so we got no adjustment. And we're going to max out at 200 for the rear. Uh, this is how I got set up my brakes, 46% balance and 132 um, pressure. And finally, for the differential, we got 54% acceleration and what is that, 36 uh, deceleration. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this tune. If you do, um, leave the video a thumbs up. Please leave me your comments uh, if you did like the tune or what you think I could have done to improve it. Take care, everybody. Peace out.